Assalamu alaikum students. Today's topic is going to be about laws. The first law says a body will remain at be at rest or in uniform motion until or unless an external force acts on it. Let us take an example of this ball and a person standing next to it who wants to kick it. A person, if it doesn't kick the ball, the ball will remain there until and unless he kicks it for eternity. But if he kicks it like this, then the ball will move. And let's assume, let's put a ball at some place in the universe. It will remain there until and unless an external force basically kicks it or basically applies force on it. What will happen if the body is being kicked and it goes into space? It will keep on rotating, it will keep on moving on until or unless a force basically stops it, just like this. This is Newton's first law. A body will remain at rest or in uniform motion until or unless an external force acts on it. Newton's second law. Newton's second law says when a force is applied on a body of mass m, then the body will move in the direction of the force with some acceleration. Here we have an example of a football or a kicker. Let's say he kicks it, the force is in the direction of the arrow, that in this direction the force will go. The body will also accelerate in this direction, that means initially its velocity was zero, that means vi was zero. And as soon as It kicks it, it started moving and it has some velocity. Let's call that final velocity Vf and it has some velocity we call it V. So in this time, there was an acceleration because the velocity was changed in this whole time. So the body accelerated in the same direction as that of the force. This whole process can be represented mathematically as F or A are directly proportional to each other and A is inversely proportional to the mass. That means if we apply more force, the body will accelerate more and if there is larger mass, the acceleration will be less. Let's say that this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. So if we combine equation 1 and equation 2, we'll get A is directly proportional to F and inversely proportional to M, combining equation 1 and 2. We can rearrange it and write it now like this. F is directly proportional to MA. Students, whenever you convert proportionality sign into equality, we have to introduce a constant of proportionality here the constant of proportionality is k. Putting in the values, the proportionality becomes equality and k is included over here. What is the value of k? Let us take the value of k equal to 1, which is of the body. So, putting in the values of k 1, we have f is equal to ma. That means when a force is applied on a body of mass m, it will accelerate in the direction of the force, which is the Newton's second law. This equation represents Newton's second law, which is force is equal to ma. In SI units of force is Newton. That means the Newton is basically the unit of force, like over here. It is represented by n. The force of one newton can be expressed as one newton is equal to one kilogram, which is the unit of mass, into one meter per second square, which is the unit of acceleration. So we can say now that one newton is equal to one kilogram into meter per second square. Newton's third law. Newton's third law said to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. 
let's say if we kick a ball the ball also will act on our foot this action as and reaction both are in opposite direction as shown by the arrows that mean action is in certain direction the reaction is the reverse or the opposite of that action the more harder we apply the force on the ball the more reaction we will feel on our foot and the ball will go further if we hit harder it will go less further if we apply less force i hope you understand the concept of newton's second first and third law inshallah we'll meet again